John F. Kennedy, a name synonymous with American idealism and tragedy. Born into wealth and privilege, Kennedy's life was marked by both triumph and adversity. He served his country with distinction in World War II, earning accolades for his bravery. His political ascent was meteoric, culminating in his election as the 35th President of the United States in 1960. At 43, he was the youngest man ever elected to the highest office. Kennedy's charisma and youthful vigor captivated the nation. He embodied hope and a new frontier for America, inspiring millions with his eloquent speeches and ambitious goals. His administration ushered in an era of social and political change, tackling issues of civil rights and poverty. His vision extended beyond Earth's bounds, setting the ambitious goal of landing a man on the moon before the decade's end. The world watched as this dynamic leader steered America toward a brighter future. Yet, beneath the surface of optimism, dark undercurrents swirled. The Cold War cast a long shadow, threatening global stability. The Bay of Pigs invasion, a failed attempt to overthrow Fidel Castro's regime in Cuba, tarnished Kennedy's reputation early in his presidency. The Cuban Missile Crisis brought the world to the brink of nuclear war, a stark reminder of the precariousness of peace. Kennedy's resolve during this crisis, however, cemented his image as a strong and decisive leader. Kennedy's presidency was a whirlwind of activity, a relentless pursuit of progress on multiple fronts. He challenged the nation to embrace its highest ideals, to strive for a more just and equitable society. His words resonated deeply with Americans, particularly the younger generation who saw in him a reflection of their own hopes and dreams. Little did they know that their youthful president's time was quickly running out. November 22, 1963 dawned bright and clear in Dallas, Texas. President Kennedy, accompanied by his wife Jacqueline and Governor John Connolly, embarked on a motorcade through the city's streets. The crowds lining the route were thick with well-wishers, eager to catch a glimpse of the charismatic president. The atmosphere was electric, a mix of excitement and anticipation. As the motorcade snaked its way through Dealey Plaza, a sharp crack split the air. Chaos erupted. The president slumped, grievously wounded. Governor Connolly was also hit. Screams pierced the air as Secret Service agents scrambled to shield the president and rush him to Parkland Memorial Hospital. The nation, glued to their radios and televisions, listened in disbelief as the news spread like wildfire. At Parkland, a team of doctors fought desperately to save the president's life, but the damage was too extensive. At 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, John F. Kennedy was pronounced dead. The nation, and indeed the world, reeled in shock. A young and vibrant leader struck down in his prime. The news reverberated across the globe, leaving a void that seemed impossible to fill. The assassination sent shockwaves through American society. People wept openly in the streets. The world mourned alongside a nation plunged into grief. The assassination was more than just the loss of a president. It was the shattering of an era of hope and optimism. The dreams of a generation seemed to die with Kennedy that day in Dallas. In the immediate aftermath of the assassination, confusion reigned. The Secret Service, tasked with protecting the president, were left grappling with the enormity of the security breach. Questions swirled. Who was responsible? Was this the act of a lone gunman or part of a larger conspiracy? The nation demanded answers but the truth remained elusive. Lee Harvey Oswald, a former U.S. Marine with a history of erratic behavior, was quickly apprehended and charged with the murder of President Kennedy and Officer J.D. Tippett, a Dallas policeman. Oswald denied any involvement, claiming he was a patsy. The investigation led by the FBI was intense and scrutinized every aspect of Oswald's life, searching for clues to his motive. Two days after the assassination, in a stunning turn of events, Oswald was shot and killed by Jack Ruby, a distraught Dallas nightclub owner, while being transferred to a county jail. This shocking incident added another layer of complexity to an already baffling case. The public struggled to comprehend the events that unfolded, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories. The assassination of John F. Kennedy became a defining moment in American history, a wound that refused to heal. The nation grappled with the loss of its leader and the uncertainty surrounding his death. The events in Dallas cast a long shadow, leaving an indelible mark on the American psyche. In an effort to quell the growing unrest and provide answers to a grieving nation, President Lyndon B. Johnson appointed a commission headed by Chief Justice Earl Warren to investigate the assassination. 
The Warren Commission conducted an exhaustive investigation, interviewing hundreds of witnesses and reviewing countless pieces of evidence. Their report, released in September 1964, concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in assassinating President Kennedy. However, the Warren Commission's findings failed to satisfy many. Critics pointed to inconsistencies in the evidence, raising questions about the trajectory of the bullets, the timing of the shots, and Oswald's alleged marksmanship. The single bullet theory, which posited that one bullet passed through both Kennedy and Governor Connolly, was particularly contentious. Doubts lingered, casting a shadow of suspicion over the official narrative. Numerous alternative theories emerged, implicating various groups and individuals from the CIA to the Mafia to Fidel Castro. Books, documentaries, and countless articles dissected the assassination, offering alternative explanations and fueling the flames of conspiracy. The assassination became fertile ground for speculation, a mystery that captivated the public imagination for decades to come. Despite the Warren Commission's efforts, the assassination of John F. Kennedy remained shrouded in controversy. The official narrative continues to be challenged, with many believing that the full truth remains hidden. The assassination serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of power and the enduring mystery that can surround even the most significant historical events. Despite the tragedy that cut short his presidency, John F. Kennedy left an indelible mark on American history. His charisma, his eloquence, and his vision for a more just and equitable society continue to inspire generations. His commitment to civil rights, his focus on space exploration, and his handling of the Cuban Missile Crisis cemented his place as one of the most consequential presidents of the 20th century. Kennedy's legacy extends beyond policy and politics. He inspired a generation to believe in the power of idealism, to strive for a better future. His famous words, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, resonated deeply with Americans, urging them to embrace civic duty and contribute to the greater good. Kennedy's assassination served as a catalyst for social and political change. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, passed in the wake of his death, was a testament to his commitment to equality. His vision for a more just society continued to drive progress in the years that followed. The memory of John F. Kennedy serves as a reminder of the power of leadership, the importance of courage in the face of adversity, and the enduring pursuit of a more perfect union. His life and death remain etched in the American consciousness, a symbol of both hope and loss. The assassination of John F. Kennedy continues to fascinate and perplex, a historical puzzle with missing pieces. Despite decades of investigation and analysis, questions linger, fueling speculation and debate. The lack of definitive answers allows conspiracy theories to flourish, casting doubt on the official narrative. The Warren Commission's findings, while comprehensive, failed to address all the concerns raised by critics. The single bullet theory remains controversial, with many questioning its plausibility. The circumstances surrounding Oswald's death, shot by Jack Ruby before he could stand trial, further muddied the waters. The possibility of a cover-up, a deliberate attempt to conceal the truth, continues to haunt the public imagination. The assassination of John F. Kennedy serves as a stark reminder that even in an age of information, truth can be elusive. The events of November 22, 1963, left an indelible mark on American history, a wound that refuses to fully heal. The assassination remains a source of fascination and debate, a reminder of the fragility of power and the enduring mystery that can surround even the most significant historical events. The search for answers continues, driven by a desire to understand the forces that led to Kennedy's death and to ensure that such a tragedy never happens again. The assassination of John F. Kennedy remains a pivotal moment in American history, a day that changed the course of a nation and left behind a legacy of unanswered questions.